all right everybody you can see i got a mess out here i wanted to do a different video besides just an update uh, i will pan around you can see everything how green it is and how it's growing i gotta get some peppers off of here but i want to show you this so i've been talking about these squash and zucchini plants in with the okra and uh, so far my little experiment's working out pretty good I, you can see i just i trimmed a bunch um off of these plants and what i started noticing is that when i was getting in the squash and the pickles um, if you have a fruit that has holes in it um, little tiny holes in it, it it's probably pickle worm now sometimes you can get a, a thing called a squash vine borer and what that is <clears throat> you'll see a little hole in the base of the plant here and the little bug will burrow in here and it'll it'll be a little worm larva that's in there and that will actually start to kill the nutrients going up uh, from the plant so it'll kill the plant over time um, I have not seen that down here as much I'm not saying it's not there or that I won't get it but we tend to have more of a problem with pickle worm and so what happens if you notice this frass there's a little piece of it hanging here there's a lot of it here all of that is where that worm came in you can see it on there and it burrowed into the fruit it'll it'll burrow a little hole in the fruit and then it'll be little worms up in there now if you get that um jesse's grandpa always always used to say uh he didn't care if there was a worm in his stuff because he knew what the worm had been eating and so if you get a pickle or you get a cucumber like that, you can you can still eat it and cut around the worm, but most people don't want to do that. And the only problem with leaving them that way is that they just tend to multiply. There's a little beetle that will lay its eggs and then they become a larva and they burrow in. And so what do you do to fix that? Well, one thing is to trim back your leaves like I'm doing here. I'm only leaving the top part of the plant and you're starting to be able to see how you get this long stem if i had to actually stake these up like i said i was going to do you could just keep tying that plant up the stake and growing vertically i think in this case it actually has worked out better because the plants are sort of moving around hanging out of the bed and it lets the okra be able to grow up in here um, so now some of these smaller plants that were being shaded because I've cut some of the bigger leaves off, they now have light, so that worked for me. But there's a chemical, it's a natural bacteria called Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis or something like that. It's just labeled as Bt. Basically, any kind of worm that you have in the garden, if it's a cabbage moth that's, that's eating up your stuff, or if it's some other kind of worm, uh, if it can make contact with the worm and the worm is not buried inside of the plant, like the vine borer would be then it will actually kill the worms and it's natural it's organic and it works great now if you have a vine borer that's in here how do you deal with that well you could cut it out but you also risk damaging the plant and so like in this case where this vine is is over here and it's growing i could actually bury this part of the vine and it would put roots down and then once that's left there for a couple days or whatever i could come back and i could cut out the vine borer so it doesn't keep on growing and, and produce more offspring now all these leaves here they're going to have squash bug eggs on the bottom of them and things like that because of just where we are and the season of the year some of them are fine and could go in the compost but a lot of them are going to have the babies of this pickle worm and other things and so i'm just going to actually bag them up in just a minute and i'm going to i'm going to get rid of them i'm not going to let them stay around because you don't want them to be continuing to produce offspring another thing i want to show you about these plants is um and you might might can see a hole on one of these fruits here sorry about my camera work i think there's a little bit of a hole there up here anyways Notice how on the vine, you got the vine, but then the plant's trying to grow another plant. That's a sucker. So you're, you can have one squash plant that just takes over the whole entire bed. Um, and, and so 
these things are prolific. I let them go unless they're in the way, but you may need to chop them off. You also notice I don't have a bunch of leaves on the ground. You don't want to leave a bunch of leaves on the ground or that gives a place for slugs, which is what a lot of this damage is probably from. And it also gives a place for insects to harbor. And you also want to try to come in here and if you see black fruit, it ain't going to develop. It's bad. So you need to actually cut it off, which is what I did. Um, it, it was rotten. So cut it off. Cut the stems back as far as you can um, so that you can clean these vines up. And you can see how that opened things up a lot. It looks like you're taking a lot off. You don't need, but just maybe five or six top leaves on there to continue to grow and, and you'll be fine. So here's an example. This, this, this is never going to be something you can eat. So there's no point in leaving this on and I'm going to get my scissors in just a minute and cut that off because that's never going to be a fruit. If you have a fruit that's just full of holes and stuff, you're not going to eat that. You're not going to cut all the, by the time you cut all the worms out, they're not going to be any really good fruit left. So might as well get rid of it too. So um, if you are at this stage and you're having problems, one thing you could do is go ahead and start your next crop because if, let's just say these these tucker out and and they don't make it then i have a, a crop ready to go in the ground and and i'm probably going to do that because i mean our plants they technically could grow until frost but it gets super hot and july sort of takes its toll here's another example this is broken i can pretend like that didn't happen but that's broken so i might as well take that off some people eat this flower here um, this is this is a male flower and actually if you look let me see if I can get to it we see a critter in here do you see that worm right there that is a pickle worm so in the case of that BT if I'd have sprayed and got spray up in here on this flower uh, it would have ended up killing that worm my thinking and i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this is a female flower no no my bad it's a male but uh anyways this would be no good if you have healthy male flowers though people do fry these um so if you have a ton of squash you could do that anyways i'm making the video too long just wanted to show you that i got a little work to do on this one over here still i'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to cut it back to where pretty much from this part up will be the plant and everything below I'm going to cut it loose and hopefully that will help. But I thought I'd share that with you. Just a little pest control tip.